Hey guys, good morning. I think my eyes are still swollen from just waking up. But um, there's, there's just one thought I wanted to talk about uh, real quick this morning was about the how we go about relationships and how we go about it all wrong. You know, it's a big part of us that when we get into a relationship, we, we basically put the other person responsible. We put our partner responsible for our happiness. We put the, the boyfriend or girlfriend or the husband or the wife responsible for our happiness. We, we, we are basically setting ourselves up to fail right from the very beginning. You know, these relationship agreements that we, uh, that we have come to that are antiquated. So if you're, if you're getting married, it's forever do us part and blah, 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 whatever, whatever those were, I don't even remember, but there definitely are a way for us to be able to, to set ourselves up to fail. And the reality is, is no one's, no one is responsible for your happiness. And we probably heard this over and over again so many times that we almost lost the, the, the feeling or the, 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 um, the definition of that word, uh, of that phrase. Um, and the reality is that it's, it's actually everything that we do in life, no one else is responsible for our happiness. And especially in our relationship, where it's so close to our heart. So we need to be able to stop setting ourselves up for failure, expecting someone else to be happy, um, expect someone else to make us happy, feeling responsible that, that we... Um, that we are a catalyst for their happiness. And the reality is that joy and happiness, as I always say, comes from within. We need to be able to start cultivating that in new relationships. We need to unlearn everything that we've, we've been taught through um, Disney World and these, these stories of Cupid and, and Valentine's Day stuff that is just utterly ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. And this is why we find that relationships these days are not working. They're always failing. There's some kind of disagreement. There's always some kind of splitting up. There's always some kind of heartache and people are losing trust. They don't, they don't trust their, their heart with anyone. They don't want to start a relationship because of past failures. They've been cheated on. They've been let down. And the reality is, is that as humans, and it's hard to say, we are, we are built. We are built to love, but in these conditions, we are built to fail each other. This is the reality of the situation. Unless we begin to learn new patterns, learn new beliefs, know who we are, understand our values, what is important to us, um, embrace the parts of us that uh, need healing, and set new expectations for ourselves, for our own happiness, then we are in a position to be able to say with confidence that we can get into a relationship with someone else. And uh, I, this is really nothing new here that I speak about, but it, it needs to be really communicated over and over again. No one is responsible, no one can, no one ever will make you happy. Don't count on relationships, don't count on marriages, don't count on relationships with your children, don't count on relationships with your parents to give you any kind of happiness. Yes, there are moments. There are moments in which there is happiness, and certainly in relationships, there are moments of happiness. But once you go back to your thoughts and your patterns, you're going to start to lean on your partner for the happiness when you're feeling down. And the reality is they're too busy trying to make themselves happy. So they can't be there for you all of the time. So that being said, I want to thank you for listening to, to this, but we need to get into a mindset that we need to unlearn everything that we've learned about relationships because it's obvious that most of it is not working. And if it is working, there's a good chance there's something behind those masks, the people that is where it's working, where someone is tolerating something, one is giving, giving themselves up to something else. Um, so I think, it, again, we need to unlearn our patterns. We need to unlearn what relationships are. We need to learn to love ourselves, accept ourselves, be confident. And when we feel like we are in a state of happiness, of joy, most of the time, then we, uh, we are deserving of, um, of a partner and um, not be codependent on, on them being there for us when we need support all the time. So, um, yeah, that's all I had. Thanks for listening.